Yes, this is a TV show, not a movie, but it's that good that even if you haven't watched a single episode of Space 1999, you should seek out the season one episode, Dragon's Domain. I think Space 1999 has been very misunderstood by some people. It's not Star Trek. It's not trying to be Star Trek. It's kind of a mix of science fiction and the Hammer horror films. It's a space gothic. The second season went straight down the tube and became just a generic kitty action show with Maya, who was very, very smart. But season one was just so strange, and the strangest episode in its way is Dragon's Domain. The moon is flying through space, and on the base, a character we've never seen before, Tony Cellini, is having nightmares. But years ago, he was involved in a four-person ship that went out exploring from Earth. The ship came upon a collection of empty spaceships floating around a planet. They docked with one, which had some interesting or odd readings, which you should, you should never pay attention to interesting or odd readings when you're in space, okay? Cause, you know. So anyway, they dock, and according to Tony, a monster appeared and killed the other three members of the crew. Tony escaped in the command capsule and came back to Earth. No one believed his story. Gee, it sounds a little like aliens, doesn't it? Now, in the present time, the moon has come upon these dead spaceships, and Tony sees a way for redemption. Actually, redemption, not redemption. It's an episode that when I ever talk to people about Space 1999, it comes up in the first minute. Because to a kid, I think I was eight or nine when I saw this, seeing this freaking monster was terrifying enough. But then, what the monster does to its victims is just mind-blowing. You just did not see that kind of thing on TV. I'll leave it there. You really owe it to yourself to check this out if you like science fiction horror because it never gets brought up in discussions of such movies because, of course, it's a TV show. Thanks for stopping by.